What's up guys, Jenny Streeby here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this gorgeous bouffant bun in a matter of minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take small pieces and just pull it through our iron. What I like to do is almost like you clamp down and then I kind of turn my wrist and then I pull it towards me, grabbing the tail. And we're going for like an erratic curl look. We don't want it to be perfect. So we're taking kind of big sections, small sections, not making it perfect. All right, now that we have these gorgeous curls, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush them out with my fingers. And now we're gonna get started with our fun bouffant pony. So now the key for this is we're gonna take the end of a tail comb and we're gonna go ahead and leave some pieces of hair out around the face. And almost like you can imagine like a C section, like a diagonal back, but just slightly curved. We're gonna carve that section out for later. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side now. All right, now we're gonna get started with our ponytail. You guys, I have to say, Look how much volume she still has from doing the flat iron curls. Okay, so we're just gonna take the end of our tail comb and kind of like high crown, we're gonna start with small sections and just weave back and forth. You guys can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just gonna add a little bit of back combing in there. We're gonna go ahead and release that hair. So I'm just gonna work with my fingers now. And if you see any like back combing or anything, you definitely wanna comb that out. So we're just gonna work with our fingers. I'm gonna take some hairspray now, flexible hold airspray here. Spray all over and then use our fingers because that kind of gives it that separation. I'm gonna pull the hair up, gathering the hair high crown. Now we're gonna take a hair bungee. What I like about it is that it's really easy and very fast. I'm holding on to um, the ponytail here with my hands and I'm kind of pressing up against her scalp then I'm gonna take the hook and then just hook it and then just wrap it around. So you can see here. And you're going as tight as you can. And then we're almost where we can't um, pull it up anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and hook it, turn it around so you can see. We're just gonna hook it in the bottom here to secure it into place. So now we want to create that bouffantness, right? So we have all that back combing that's actually inside our ponytail here at the crown. So we're going to take our tail comb, we're going to slide it through, and we're ge gently going to pull it up to kind of create that fullness here. Because hair has memory, and we have all that teasing in there. Now we're gonna hold on to the base and we're gonna pinch and pull quarter inch sections. You can use some hairspray for separation as I'm pulling the quarter inch sections. Now we have our big full ponytail back here. We're gonna actually hide the Hair bungee here. We're gonna take a piece of hair and just wrap it around the bungee. Then once we get to the ends, we're gonna go ahead and take a bobby pin, pull it through that hair, do a little figure eight, taking the bobby pin, and then we're just gonna press it underneath our pony right into that. 
All right, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite trick to really make this ponytail stand out. So what I'm gonna do is split it in half and then I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just put it right in there at the middle of our ponytail because these bobby pins are actually gonna help make the hair extend out, creating kind of more of that full pony. So I'm actually gonna do three. You can see there. And just do a little bit of back combing right here and release that hair. All right, now that we have our ponytail, we're gonna create our little bouffant here. So I'm gonna, just gonna do a simple rope braiding technique by dividing the hair in half. We're gonna twist to the right, go up and over to the left, twist to the right, up and over to the left, twist to the right, up and over to the left, very loosely, because we're gonna pull it apart. Once we get to the ends, we're gonna secure it with a hair elastic and put some texture air in there by Air Professional, which is a dry texture spray that is actually infused with crystals, with crystal quartz, which is really cool. It's gonna help give us some grit and texture. And then holding on to the ends, we're gonna pull it apart, almost like you're massaging the hair and just pulling it towards the pony on both sides. Now we're gonna take the ends and create our big bouffant bun. And we're gonna secure it into place by utilizing bobby pins. And what I like to do is almost like a circle, like motion. I'm gonna go to the right and the right corner and push it through. And then again to the left, on the left side on the top. and then the bottom. So we're gonna secure it into place and then we're gonna detail it out. Utilizing some flexible hold air spray. What's great about this hairspray, it just builds. The more and more you use it, the harder the hair will become. Just gonna pull it apart. Now we're gonna take our little ends, do a little finger back combing to create that messy Bardot look. Add some shine spray by air for the flyaways. And that is about it, you guys. A really simple bouffant bun utilizing all air products and the new Dyson Corel. I'll see you guys soon.